All right, so we are picking up now in our next unit, which is nature, nurture, human diversity, and then development. So um, we're going to start kind of with the building blocks of genes and some of the important stuff that goes along with genetic research to understanding um, how we develop. And then in development, we're going to be talking about, you know, physical, um, social, and um emotional development okay and, and cognitive development some of the ways that we kind of um grow starting from obviously prenatal environment all the way up till death so this first part is just kind of an overview of um of kind of genetics just real basic stuff that you need to understand about genetics um some of the topics you know genes twin and adoption studies temperament and heredity and then the gene environment interaction um, so behavior geneticists, these are people who study how heredity and environment contribute to human differences. Okay, so this is a field of psychology that's definitely growing as we're starting to understand more and more about the human genome and we're starting to be able to look into the human genome. So behavior geneticists are definitely, um, that is a term you need to make sure you know. So let's start by looking at genes, okay? So genes are basically building blocks of life, okay? They're, um, genes are parts of DNA molecules which are found in our chromosomes and the nuclei of our cells, okay? So some basic vocabulary here. You gotta make sure you know what a chromosome is, which is a thread-like structure made largely of DNA molecules, okay? And then DNA is the spiraling complex molecule containing genes. Um, now, how do chromosomes and inheritance work? Well, the human genome includes 46 chromosomes in 23 sets, matched sets. Each chromosome has the same gene locations. This includes the X and the Y chromosomes, um, not a matched set in males, who are missing some genes on the Y. Okay, a biological uh, parent donates half of his or her set of the chromosomes to his or her offsprings, and we are seeing half of a set of uh, chromosomes from each biological parent. Okay, um, so just again the basic things. Make sure you know that the you know the genome includes forty six chromosomes in twenty three matched sets. Okay, um, males are missing some genes on the Y. Okay, and that you get half from mom, half from dad. Now, how do genes work? Okay, well, genes are not blueprints. Okay? They are molecules that have the ability to direct the assembly of proteins that build the body. Um, so a genetic protein assembly can be turned on or off by the environment, gene expression, this is called, or by other genes. And any trait we see is a result of the complex interactions of many genes and countless other molecules. Oops. Okay, so again, a really th important thing to remember with genes is that they're not necessarily blueprint. It's not destiny. Okay, it's just this set of information that you have that can direct different things. Okay, and the expression of those genes, the gene expression, can be determined by other genes. It can be determined by environmental factors. Um, it could be a lot of other things are at work. So it's not as simple as just you have a gene this is what's going to happen um, and genes are almost like um, like dimmer switches on lights where you know you can turn genes on and off to various little levels as well so you know one slight click up on a gene it's going to cause a completely different expression of that gene um, depending on somebody else all right so next uh, time we're going to talk about twins